Khalid's Mistake Chapter 1. Introduction Khalid is a weaver. He has a small shop in the market, where he sells the beautiful clothes he makes. One day Khalid is sitting in his shop, sewing a dress, when a customer walks in. Assalamu alaikum, greets the customer. Wa alaikum assalam, Khalid responds with a smile. You have beautiful clothes, comments the customer looking around. Thank you, Khalid replies. I make them myself. The customer picks a dress and pays for it. Khalid thanks him and takes the money. But Khalid has a secret. He is not honest. He sometimes cheats on his customers after they buy his clothes. He deliberately gives the customers poor quality clothes after receiving the money. Khalid thinks to himself, I am clever. I can make people believe my clothes are always good. But soon the same customer returns, unhappy. This dress is not good. Its quality is terrible, he complains. I'm sorry, Khalid quickly says. Let me make you a new one. However, Khalid does not make a new dress. Instead, he gives the customer another dress, but this one is also of poor quality. The customer becomes very upset. You are not honest, he says. I will not shop here again. Khalid just smiles and thinks, it doesn't matter. I already have his money. However, he is also worried. He knows that if he continues to cheat, people will stop coming to his shop. But instead of changing his ways, he starts thinking of new ways to cheat more customers. Khalid's shop grew quieter as only a few customers started to visit. Khalid sits alone, worried, but still not ready to change his dishonest ways. Chapter 2. Khalid's Obsession One day, a beautiful young woman comes to Khalid's shop. Her name is Fatima. She wants to buy a new dress. Assalamu alaikum, says Fatima. Wa alaikum assalam, replies Khalid. Fatima looks around the shop. You have beautiful clothes, she says. Thank you, says Khalid. I make them myself. Fatima chooses a dress and tries it on. Khalid looks at her and thinks, She is so beautiful. I want to marry her. Does the dress fit you? asks Khalid. Yes, it fits perfectly, says Fatima. Khalid smiles. I'm glad you like it, he says. Fatima pays Khalid and leaves the shop. Khalid watches her go and thinks, I must see her again. Khalid goes to Fatima's house and knocks on the door. Fatima's mother answers. Assalamu alaikum, says Khalid. Wa alaikum assalam, replies Fatima's mother. I want to see Fatima, says Khalid. Fatima's mother looks surprised. Why do you want to see Fatima? she asks. I want to make her a special dress, says Khalid. I want to impress her. Fatima's mother smiles. Fatima is engaged to a kind and honest man named Amir, she says. She doesn't need a special dress from you. Khalid is disappointed. He thinks, I must find a way to impress Fatima. I must make her love me. Chapter 3. Fatima's Plan Fatima's mother tells her that Khalid came to impress her by making her a special dress. Fatima tells Amir about Khalid. Khalid came to my house today, she says. He wants to make me a special dress. Amir looks surprised. Why does he want to make you a special dress? He asks. I don't know, says Fatima, but I think he likes me. Amir smiles. Don't worry, Fatima, he says. You are my fiancé. I will protect you. Fatima thinks for a moment. I have an idea, she says. I will pretend to like Khalid. I will meet him at his shop and see what he does. Amir looks worried. Be careful, Fatima, he says. Khalid is not a good man. Fatima smiles. Don't worry, Amir, she says. I can take care of myself. Fatima goes to Khalid's shop the next day. Assalamu alaikum, she says. Wa alaikum assalam, replies Khalid. I want to talk to you about the special dress, says Fatima. Khalid smiles. I will make you the most beautiful dress in the world, he says. Fatima smiles back. I would like that, she says. Khalid thinks, Fatima likes me. I will make her the most beautiful dress in the world. But Fatima is not telling the truth. She is pretending to like Khalid to see what he will do. Chapter 4. Khalid's Deception Khalid is happy. He thinks, Fatima likes me. I will make her the most beautiful dress in the world. After some days, Fatima comes to Khalid's shop again. I want to see the dress, she says. Khalid smiles. 
It's not ready yet, he says, but in the meantime, we can go to meet a famous Islamic scholar. He will teach you about God. Fatima looks surprised. I don't know, she says. Khalid persuades her. It will be good for you, he says. You will learn a lot. Fatima agrees. Okay, she says. I will go with you. Khalid takes Fatima to a house on the outskirts of the city. This is the scholar's house, he says. Fatima looks around. It's a nice house, she says. Khalid smiles. Yes, it is, he says. The scholar is a very important man. But Khalid is lying. The house is not the scholar's house. It's Khalid's own house. Fatima looks at Khalid. Where is the scholar? She asks. Khalid looks around. He's not here yet, he says. But he will come soon. Fatima looks worried. I don't know, she says. I think I should go home. Khalid persuades her again. No, no, he says. The scholar will come soon. You must wait. Fatima agrees. Okay, she says. I will wait. Chapter 5 The Trap Amir follows Fatima and hides outside Khalid's house, listening to Khalid and Fatima. He is angry. Khalid is a bad man, he thinks. He is trying to trick Fatima. Amir bursts into the house. What's going on here? he asks. Khalid looks surprised. Who are you? he asks. I am Amir, Fatima's fiancé, says Amir. What are you doing with her? Khalid looks worried. I was just trying to help her, he says. Amir is angry. You are a liar, he says. You are trying to trick Fatima. Fatima looks at Khalid. You lied to me, she says. You are not a good man. Khalid looks ashamed. I'm sorry, he says. I made a mistake. Amir looks at Fatima. Let's go, he says. We don't need to stay here. Fatima nods. Yes, let's go, she says. Khalid looks at them. Wait, he says. I want to explain. But Amir and Fatima don't listen. They leave the house and go home. Khalid is alone. He thinks, I made a mistake. I should not have tried to trick Fatima. Chapter 6 Khalid's Disguise Khalid is worried. He thinks, Amir and Fatima will tell everyone about my mistake. I will be in trouble. Khalid looks around his house. He sees a woman's dress and thinks, I can wear this dress and escape. Khalid puts on the dress and looks in the mirror. Now I look like a woman, he says. Khalid goes out of the house and walks through the streets. He sees Amir and Fatima walking towards him. Assalamu alaikum, says Khalid, trying to sound like a woman. Wa alaikum assalam, replies Amir. Fatima looks at Khalid. You look familiar, she says. Khalid is worried. No, I don't think so, I know you, he says. But Amir is not fooled. He sees the hands and notices that it's Khalid. You are Khalid, he says. You are trying to escape. Khalid looks ashamed. I'm sorry, he says. I made a mistake. Amir and Fatima look at each other. We will forgive you, says Amir. But you must promise to change your ways. Khalid nods. I promise, he says. I will be a good man from now on. Chapter 7 Khalid's Punishment Now everyone in the market knows about Khalid's true colors. Khalid is in trouble. The people in the community are angry with him. They say, Khalid is a bad man. He cheats people. The imam of the mosque calls Khalid to his office. Khalid, you have done a bad thing, he says. You must be punished. Khalid looks down. I'm sorry, he says. I will try to be a good man from now on. The imam thinks for a moment. I will give you a chance, he says. But you must do something to make up for your mistake. Khalid nods. I will do anything, he says. The imam smiles. I want you to help the poor people in our community, he says. You must give them food and clothes. Khalid nods. I will do it, he says. Khalid starts to help the poor people. He gives them food and clothes. He also apologizes to the people he cheated on. The people in the community are happy. They say, Khalid is changing. He is becoming a good man. Chapter 8 Khalid's Reflection Khalid is sitting in his house, thinking about his past. I was a bad man, 
he says to himself. I cheated people and lied to them. Khalid looks around his house. He sees the clothes and food he gave to the poor people. I am trying to be a good man now, he says. Khalid thinks about Amir and Fatima. They forgave me, he says. They gave me a second chance. Khalid looks at himself in the mirror. I am not a bad man anymore, he says. I am a good man. Khalid smiles. I am happy, he says. I am proud of myself. The next day, Khalid goes to the mosque. He sees Amir and Fatima there. Assalamu alaikum, he says. Wa alaikum assalam, they reply. Khalid looks at them. Thank you for forgiving me, he says. I will always be grateful. Amir and Fatima smile. We are happy to see you changing, they say. The End It is A2 level according to the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages, CEFR. Here's why. Vocabulary The story uses simple vocabulary, with a limited range of words and phrases. E.g., beautiful clothes, bad man, cheats people, make a dress. There are no complex or nuanced vocabulary items, and the language is generally straightforward. Grammar. The story primarily uses simple sentence structures, such as declarative sentences, e.g., Khalid is a weaver, and imperative sentences, e make me a new one. There are some basic verb tenses used, such as present simple, e.g., Khalid sells his clothes, and past simple, e.g., Khalid cheated people. There are no complex grammatical structures, such as conditional sentences, passive voice, or subjunctive mood. Cohesion and coherence. The story is easy to follow, with a clear and simple narrative structure. The text uses basic linking words and phrases, such as and, but, and so, to connect ideas. The story is divided into chapters, which helps to organize the narrative and make it easier to understand. Language functions. The story primarily uses descriptive language to tell a story, with some basic dialogue. The language is not used to persuade, argue, or negotiate, which are more complex language functions. Examples of A2 language features. Simple sentence structures. Khalid is a weaver. He makes beautiful clothes. Chapter 1. Basic vocabulary. Bad man. Cheats people. Make a dress. Throughout the story. Limited range of verb tenses, Khalid sells his clothes, present simple, Khalid cheated people, past simple, chapter 1, basic linking words and phrases, and, but, so, throughout the story. Overall, the language used in the story is simple, clear, and easy to understand, which is characteristic of the A2 level of the CEFR. Here are 10 words phrases from the story with their meanings. Examples from the story, and examples from real life. 1. Assalamu alaikum. Meaning, a common Islamic greeting, which means, peace be upon you. Example from the story. Assalamu alaikum, says the customer. Chapter 1. Example from real life. When two Muslims meet, they often greet each other with, Assalamu alaikum, and respond with, Wa alaikum assalam, and upon you be peace. 2. Wa alaikum assalam, meaning, a response to the greeting, assalamu alaikum, which means, and upon you be peace. Example from the story. Wa alaikum assalam, replies Khalid. Chapter 1. Example from real life. When someone greets you with assalamu alaikum, you respond with, wa alaikum assalam. 3. Cheats, meaning, to deceive or trick someone in order to get an advantage. Example from the story. Khalid cheats his customers. He sells them bad clothes and takes their money. Chapter 1. Example from real life. A company was accused of cheating its customers by selling them faulty products. 4. Fiancé E. Meaning, a person to whom one is engaged to be married. Example from the story. Amir is Fatima's fiancé. Chapter 3. Example from real life. I'm so happy to announce that my fiancé and I are getting married next year. 5. Persuades. Meaning, to convince someone to do or believe something. Example from the story. Khalid persuades her. It will be good for you, he says. Chapter 4. 
Example from real life. The salesperson persuaded me to buy a new phone by highlighting its advanced features. 6. Deception. Meaning, the act of deceiving or tricking someone. Example from the story. Khalid's plan is not good. He is trying to deceive Fatima. Chapter 4. Example from real life. The company was accused of deception for misrepresenting their product's benefits. 7. Forgives. Meaning, to stop feeling angry or resentful towards someone who has done something wrong. Example from the story. Amir and Fatima forgive Khalid. We will forgive you, says Amir. Chapter 6. Example from real life. I forgave my friend for forgetting my birthday, and we're still good friends. 8. Apologies. Meaning, to express regret or remorse for something one has done wrong. Example from the story. Khalid apologizes to the people he cheated. Chapter 7. Example from real life. The company apologized for the mistake and offered a refund to affected customers. 9. Makes up for. Meaning? To do something to compensate for a mistake or wrongdoing. Example from the story. The imam wants Khalid to make up for his mistake by helping the poor people. Chapter 7. Example from real life. I made up for missing my sister's birthday by sending her a belated gift and a heartfelt apology. 10. Proud of. Meaning, feeling pleased and satisfied with oneself or someone else's achievement. Example from the story. Khalid smiles. I am proud of myself, he says. Chapter 8. Example from real life. I'm so proud of my friend for completing her first marathon. These words and phrases are commonly used in everyday conversations, and understanding their meanings can help improve your English language skills. Here are three things the reader can learn from the story. 1. Honesty is the best policy. The story teaches us that honesty is always the best option. Khalid's dishonesty and cheating lead to trouble and loss of trust, while his eventual honesty and apology bring forgiveness and redemption. This lesson can be applied to our daily lives, reminding us to always be truthful and transparent in our dealings with others. 2. Forgiveness is a powerful tool. The story shows us the power of forgiveness and second chances. Amir and Fatima forgive Khalid for his mistakes, and the imam gives him an opportunity to make amends. This teaches us that forgiveness can lead to personal growth, healing, and reconciliation. It also reminds us that everyone deserves a second chance to correct their mistakes and start anew. 3. Personal growth and change are possible. Khalid's transformation from a dishonest weaver to a remorseful and eventually redeemed individual is a powerful lesson in personal growth and change. The story teaches us that it's never too late to recognize our mistakes, apologize, and make amends. We can always learn from our errors change our ways, and become better versions of ourselves. This lesson can inspire us to reflect on our own actions and strive to become more honest, compassionate, and responsible individuals. These lessons can be applied to our daily lives, reminding us of the importance of honesty, forgiveness, and personal growth. This story and voiceover have been provided by English Made Easy. Learn through stories. Copying or re-uploading is strictly prohibited.